What would you do for me on Valentine's Day? I'm not romantic at all. I don't do that type of shit. Your best attribute. My head game is like top tier. Lord have mercy. What? Check, baby. I run, baby. So, son. What? Yeah. We're going to go ahead and start it off. Who we here with right now? Nikki. All right, Nikki. So, you know what you're doing today, right? Yeah, I'm going to be picking a boyfriend. All right, so, um... You could go ahead and start it off with one question that you got for all of us. First, I want to ask, what is y'all type? I think my type, like, red hair, glasses, camo pants, <laughs> Syracuse dunks, type shit like that. Shit, my type, honestly, anything black, you know, black queens, go with that. Shit, me, honestly, I don't really have a type. As long as we can vibe right in any environment, shit, you can get any time. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I say? I gotta follow up one of my brother. You know what I say? I don't really got no type. I really prefer black queens. Light skin, curly hair, brown skin, dark skin. Really, as long as you a black queen, you get what I'm saying? So based off of that, who would you eliminate first? You get what I'm saying? Or you want to ask another question because you just... Let me ask another question. All right, go ahead, then. What would you do for me on Valentine's Day? What we going to do, uh, I'm going to get off of work, whatever. You're probably going to be out getting your nails done. I got you on that. Getting your hair done. And then I'm going to surprise you at the house with some roses. Ass. Ooh, what else? Titty. Ooh, what else? Uh, probably some candy in a bowl, and then we're gonna go out, uh, get dressed up, you know, go to like a five star restaurant, get something good to eat, type shit. I'm a type of nigga that, like, I'm a creative, innovative nigga, so everything I wanna do, I can either buy it and do it at home, I can get somebody to do it for me. So I set everything up at the crib massage, rose petals, food, liquor, wine, anything you need. I said all that shit. I say for Valentine's Day, we gotta go somewhere that we ain't really never been. So probably like an expensive restaurant, you know what I'm saying? Then after that, I'm a fun nigga, so I like to do fun shit. So after that, you know what I'm saying? We probably go, uh, what's that shit called? Laser tag? We might go to laser tag, drunk bowling. You know what I'm saying? Some fun shit that you ain't really never done before. So, you know what I'm saying? Then after that, you get crap. I ain't gonna get kicked out again. I'm not romantic at all. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! So. I don't know. I don't Fine. do that. I don't do that type of shit. For Fuck that. Time, if you was romantic, I don't give a damn. I don't know. We can just go out. I'll buy you some shit. And that's it. I don't know. What that's would you buy? Like anything you want. I'm a trick, but I'm a man. That's one thing about me. I ain't got no feelings for nobody. Fuck that. Based off of that, who would you eliminate? You know what I'm saying? Two. Get him out of here, cuz. Nah, you number two, nigga. <laughs> You remove him since he wasn't romantic. Do you like niggas that go out your way, go out the way for you, like romantic things? You know what I'm saying, like cute things, like little dates and stuff. Like, um, yeah, it's not like, like I need it, but at least you could try. You feel me? And he just said, I don't know. So yeah, no. You don't like niggas that don't that don't put in the effort, right? Yeah. All right, but y'all got a question for her? who had the best answer? Oh, who, damn, who had the best answer? I'ma say probably. Probably you. She want me. She want me. Dude, just because we wouldn't stay like at the house, like with the laser tag and shit. Like, in the ending, the ending part, the best part. Yeah. Crushing that muffin. <laughs> what is your What is your type? What type of niggas you like? I like tall. I lost. Brown skin, dark skin. Um, I like facial hair. I like tats. I don't. Yeah, I don't fuck with nobody that's not black. You gotta have shoe game and you gotta know how to dress. It's pretty much it. And then just be like cool. Tyson, when you say tall, how tall though? Cause you're a little short, baby. Um, I'll say I feel like the perfect height for me is about five ten. But if you a little under that, it's okay. It's okay. Alright, so you got another question for us, you know what I'm saying? Would you say you're more Clingy or nonchalant? Um, honestly, I say I'm more clingy just cause I like being up under the per If I'm really fucking with you, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna wanna be up under you like all the time. Y'all say cheese. I got you right where I want you, little nigga. Go ahead, say cheese. Type shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, watching a movie, you know what I'm saying? I'm be like, what you doing all the way over there? Like, come here, yeah. you feel me? So like, that's the type of shit I be on. Me? I, I can't, I'm not a clingy type of person. Ooh. I used to be, but now I'm more laid back, more nonchalant. I let you do what you do and let the trust in the relationship that we got speak for itself. So if I catch you finding or talking to other people, yeah, it is what it is. See, me personally, I like quality time. So like, I'm kind of like that clingy type. I want to be at the crib type, 
like watching movies, go out, go dinner, go to carnivals, just be out. Like I'm the type to be out, but then want to come home and kind of relax and lay down next to the person. But that's kind of shit. I say clingy. Like the more nonchalant. I feel like you like the more nonchalant. You know, in the past it's been nonchalant, but you feel me? <laughs> I want to try something new. I want to try something new. So I'm gonna say clingy. Type shit. I fuck with that. I fuck with that. Uh, What's another question you got before you eliminate? I'll let, do you want to eliminate somebody off of that? Yeah. You want to eliminate somebody? Yeah. Who you want to eliminate? Um, I'm gonna have to eliminate you. Three. Uh, you yeah. going? You want to retaliate? Nah. Oh, do I gotta retaliate? <laughs> shit, it's all love. I don't give a fuck. Oh, shit, I'm gonna go meet another one, right, brother? <laughs> All right, so what's another question you got for, uh, you know what I'm saying? The two, you know what I'm saying, most likely to get picked, you know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, so how freaky would you say you are on a scale of one to ten? Hey, I'm a ten all the way. Hey, I ain't going to say too much because on two, my nigga get his pay somehow, but hey, I'm a ten. Nah, I'm actually off the scale. Fuck that. We off the scale with that. So what's the freakiest thing you would do to her? We going to keep that disclosed. Your time has come. There's no way out of this one. Ah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Shit, honestly, I say I'm 11. Definitely based off that. If we if we lit, we, you know what I'm saying? We smoked some, we all that drink, you know what I'm saying? Beverly, I'm gonna credit that motherfucker, baby. You know how I go. You know what I'm saying? What, what would you raise your, now that's crazy. Eat, <laughs> eat it ass, that best believe, I don't care how, how lit I am. I ain't eating no ass, you know what I'm saying? Stop it, stop it. So what was, what would you rate? Um, what would you rate yourself? I'm gonna get myself, well, honestly, I feel like it depends on who it's with, cause yeah. I feel like you can't just be like nasty, nasty with everybody. Nah, but nah. if I'm being like that, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm a 10, I'm not gonna lie. 10, 11, yeah. What make you a 10 though? Cause I feel like a lot of females say that like, if you had to give a little description of what would make you a 10, like your, you say your best attribute is. You know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes to it. I'm not going to lie. I, I feel like my head game is, like, top tier. Like, I'm trying to get see what that be like right there. Look, be that, 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 that. Like, top tier? That motherfucker, like, up there. Yeah. Sheesh. Wait, you got a question for a game? What make it different from everybody else? What make you different from other females? That's a, that's a good question, though. I ain't going to count. Um, a lot of people tell me that they don't come off a head. And I'm like, how? You feel me? Like, I'm not gonna stop to you. Lord have mercy. <laughs> All right, so look, based off of that, do you got another question for us, or would you like to eliminate us based off of that? Um, no, I would say I got another question. All right, what's your question then? What's the most important thing in a relationship to you? Shit, most important thing is like, I gotta say quality time. Like, if you're not really trying to spend no time with me, or if you in other niggas' faces and shit, you automatically done. You get what I'm saying? Or say, I don't even really be going through phones like that, but if I reach for your phone, you hit that, huh, you know what I'm saying? You're yeah. done, like, you know what I'm saying? So I really like mine's all to me, you know what I'm saying? If you're not all mine, like my nigga Brent said, then you're done, you know what I'm saying? No cap. See, with me, I fuck with the like communication shit. Like, you gotta be able to communicate with me, let me know like where you going, whatever, whatever, Like, so I'm not out here wondering like if you don't like text me back, I'm like, all right, cool, she out. But, I would say, like, my toxic thing, I would say, is communication, but, like, I can fix that shit easily, so it's like... For the right yeah, person? Yeah, for the right person. That shit. So, I got a question for you. Yeah. What's your longest relationship? Um, like, not on and off, like, solid. It's solid, yeah. solid. Ooh. I mean, you could say on and off, too, because you know how that shit be, like... Yeah, all right, so... You seem like the toxic type a little bit. Okay, I've been on and off with somebody for, like, two years. Mm -hmm. And that's, I would say that's been the longest. Type shit. Or like without breaking up, I would say about six months, but it was with the same person. Why does shit come to an end if you don't mind me asking? You know what I'm saying? Um, I would say we just needed like time apart to grow. Like we were just, you know, real toxic. It was just, we just had to cut that shit. So do you like toxic? Um, I'm not gonna lie, a little bit, but like, because it's kind of interesting at the same time. It make a, a little, little spice to it, you know what I'm saying? You yeah, like a little spice to it, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Keep you coming back. Much, not too much, not though. Too much. Then that shit's annoying. What's too toxic? Um, Basically, I'll just say, like, breaking up over dumb shit. You feel me? Just blocking each other, like, over any little over thing. Over little shit? Yeah, that shit's annoying. I feel you. You got a, you got a question for him, my boy? Nah. 
But like to go on what you said, like that toxic shit, I really don't fuck with it. Like it shit's just beyond like it's just kid shit at the end of the day and we all grown type shit. So it's just like I'd rather build off of like love and trust off of that than just always arguing and bickering type shit. Based off of that question, do you have who you would pick ready yet or you wanna ask one more final question, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, brother, I think I'm taking it home, my boy. <laughs> Oh, no, that was yeah. crazy. What is your favorite position and why? And why? Yeah. Shit, I like, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead with uh, reverse cowgirl. You know what I'm saying? Because I like to see that motherfucker dang from the back. You know what I'm saying? Give a little smack. Give a little smack and do them while that motherfucker clap. You know what I'm talking about? What about you, too? Shit, I say. I like the missionary type shit, and then like my hand on like your stomach area, pushing down, just applying a little bit of pressure. That's it. Looking in your eyes and shit, maybe kissing you, you know. Type shit, type shit. What would you say your favorite position? Then? Um, I would say, I would say missionary or like. Like from the side, like I don't know, but that should be hitting different. Like you wake up that in the morning. Sense. You like, wake up in the morning. <laughs> fresh like, off the wake up. Yeah, like like you start off with lazy sex, like from the side, and then you start crashing that motherfucker. Yeah, like yeah, I know you're talking about. All right, so based off of that, who would you think would be your boyfriend at the end of the day? Based off of that question? Because I know it was a hard, yeah, based off of that question. Based off of everything, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Looks, I'm gonna have to. I'm going to have to go with you. Ooh. But you did have good answers, though. Yeah. Hey, you got to retaliation? Nah, I'm going to let you take the dub. I appreciate you. Yeah, I see. Double Cat Family, man. If y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I just got me another boo, man. No cat, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to your grandma. Um, my Instagram is love.nicolette, so tap in. Feel me? Y'all don't go follow my boo and shit now, but no cat, we got to motherfucking subscribe, man.